Hey guys, and welcome back to AFI DIYs. My name is Maddie, and we're so glad you're here. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our tutorials and business content. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're making transparent soap bars for hands or body. This product provides lather, low irritation, great texture, and clarity. So, let's look at the formula. For supplies, you'll need a double boiler, a mixing device, safety gloves, and a silicone soap mold. To make a bar of soap, you'll need 42.35% or 3 tablespoons of propylene glycol, 14.12% or 1 tablespoon of glycerin, 42.35% or 3 tablespoons of sorbo, 70% sorbitol solution. 1.18% or 1 fourth teaspoon of fragrance oil, and finally, 2-3 to three spritz of rubbing alcohol spray. Choosing a fragrance is such a fun part of doing DIYs. I went to the AFI library today and chose Fresh Apple. <laughs> this scent smells so refreshing, and it's IFR approved for skin contact. Now that we have our fragrance, let's gear up by putting on our gloves. Perfect, now let's get started. First add propylene glycol, glycerin, and sorbitol solution into the double boiler. Begin heating and mixing. Once the contents have completely melted, begin cooling. Then pour in your fragrance and stir until combined. Lastly, pour the mixture into your soap molds and spray the top with rubbing alcohol to remove any air bubbles. Allow the soap to harden in the mold for six to eight hours. Now, your soap bars are ready to go. This only costs about a dollar and it can be sold wholesale for around two to three dollars and retail for $46. We have made several different soap DIYs here at AFI, and one of my favorites is our tutorial on how to make cold processed soap, so check it out. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and found it super helpful. We'll see you in our next one. Until next time, bye.